Washington Senator Al Franken of Minnesota, in an emotional speech on the Senate floor, announced on Thursday that he would resign from Congress, the most prominent figure in a growing list of lawmakers felled by charges of sexual harassment or indiscretions. At turns defiant and mournful but hardly contrite, Mr. Franken called it the worst day of my political life, as he denied allegations of groping and improper advances from at least six women. Instead, as his Democratic colleagues looked on, he took a parting shot at President Trump and Roy S. Moore, the Republican candidate for Senate in Alabama, both have also been accused of sexual misconduct. I, of all people, I am aware that there is some irony in the fact that I am leaving while a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault sits in the Oval Office, and a man who has repeatedly preyed on young girls' campaigns for the Senate with the full support of his party, Mr. Franken said. Hours later, Rep. Trent Franks, Republican of Arizona, resigned after the House Ethics Committee opened an investigation into allegations of sexual harassment, a move that made him the third member of Congress to leave under a cloud of claims of sexual impropriety in three days. On Tuesday, Rep. John Conyers Jr., Democrat of Michigan and the longest-serving African-American in House history, also quit. The dizzying series of departures comes during a national reckoning over sexual misconduct in the workplace that has cost men their jobs across the spectrum of American life, including in the entertainment and media industries, the arts, academia, and now, politics. As accusations of sexual improprieties continue to swirl on Capitol Hill, lawmakers have struggled with how to respond. Democrats and their leaders forced Mr. Conyers and Mr. Franken out in a succession of seemingly coordinated statements that made clear that their continued presence would be untenable. Mr. Franken stepped down one day after nearly all the Senate's Democratic women and most Democratic men, including the top two leaders, called for him to resign. Democrats appear determined to grab the moral high ground in an environment in which they hope sexual harassment becomes a wedge issue in the 2018 midterm elections, even if it costs them popular colleagues and political icons. Republicans, by contrast, have been more situational. In the case of Mr. Franks, Speaker Paul D. Ryan of Wisconsin released a statement Thursday night indicating that he had forced the representative out. The Speaker takes seriously his obligation to ensure a safe workplace in the House, a statement from Mr. Ryan's office said. Yet Rep. Blake Ferrant Hold of Texas appears to be under little pressure, even though he used $84,000 in taxpayer funds to settle a sexual harassment claim with his former communications director. The House Ethics Committee said on Thursday that it was establishing a subcommittee to investigate Mr. Ferrant hold. Mr. Moore's Senate candidacy in Alabama has surfaced accusations that he sexually molested or assaulted girls as young as 14, yet he continues to have the support of Mr. Trump and the Republican National Committee.